How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another thermal label printer and we're going to do an unboxing on it. This is the Delhi DL770D. It is yet another private label printer off of Amazon. I think by the end of the year we will maybe have gotten through half of them. There are a lot of different private label printers on Amazon. This is possibly yet another reason why I don't really recommend the Rolo. This printer was $139.99 on Amazon. It's non-proprietary. It's 203 DPI. Spec wise, it's very, very similar to the Rolo and to other thermal printers, but maybe we can get some more compatibilities out of it. I really don't know. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna do a Windows test. Mac test, Chromebook test, Android test. See what we can get going on this printer because this is another one that says non-Mac compatible on the listing and maybe it is Mac compatible and they just don't know how to do it. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the unboxing and printer setup. I like how compact this Amazon Prime box was. One to two-ish days to get here, depending where you live in the country. You know how that deal is, but I am excited to bust into this guy and start to look at our packaging. Look at that fit. It's like they didn't waste anything. Okay, so there we are, the deli electronic label printer DL770D, 150 millimeters per second, which is six inches per second. The same claimed on the Rolo, the same claimed on Beepert's printers. And we got a lot of Chinese. It does say 203 DPI, 1.45 kgs, and down here, made in China. We're going to open her up. And if you have any questions, contact them directly. I like how this is packaged, super tight. Looks like we have our power cables. Oh, we got a user manual. We don't use user manuals. I like to just figure it out. Here's our box. Oh, whoa, we got a printer cleaning pen to remove ink. That's a nice little touch. Some of the other companies have not had a printer cleaning pen. Isopropyl alcohol, 98% in pen form. I like it. Good job, guys. Power supply, which is 24 volts, two amps. We got a USB cable, little silica pack, the printer itself. Nussled in between some perfectly form-fitting foam cutouts. There it is. The Deli. Oh, it's got some weight to it, probably because there's a plate down in here. It's probably just another flavor of sausage. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already seen other flavor of sausage printer unboxing review overview videos, make sure to check them out in the description. We go over these guys, which pretty much have a very similar form factor with very minor differences to the deli, if you can't already tell. We got our feed and calibration button right here, power switch in the back, a barrel power in, a USB opening switch right there. The print head looks just like the other print heads on the other printers. The build looks like it came from a similar factory. There's some sensors for sensing where labels stop and start. Here's our platen roller. I have a feeling this will work perfectly fine with Mac, probably with the Beepert or the Rolo driver, perfectly fine. So not a problem. So this one didn't come with any test labels, which kind of sucks. Because this printer has such similar form factor as some other printers, I'm guessing that the compatibilities are going to be the same. Uh, most likely this will not work with Chrome and it will not work on Android, but I should be able to get it working perfectly fine on Mac. So we're gonna get this thing started. Uh, we're gonna set this up. You're gonna plug the power supply into the back and take your USB cord, plug that in there, turn your power on and we get some flashing lights. I'm gonna take my roll. I have a roll of uh, UPS labels right here. 
I'm gonna take that roll, feed it through here, open up the feed guides, close the feed guides a little bit, and then close the printer head. And it sucked it back in. Okay, so this thing needs to be calibrated. I press it once and it just doesn't know what it's doing. So we're gonna have to calibrate this. I actually had to consult my user manual for that one. Machine shinning red and keep feeding paper. Ident paper identity failed. Wipe and sensor, press button for five seconds. So I had to wait till the second beep. Beep and then beep beep. There we go. That's a calibration. Wasn't too difficult to figure out. But if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Now it should feed. There we go, one label perfectly fine. Here we are on Mac with the converter plugged in because I don't have regular USB on this Mac. Uh, I just installed it using the Rolo driver. I'm sure it will work with other drivers as well, but I'm going to hit print. And what do you know, it works perfectly fine on Mac. Okay, we're throwing a curveball here. I'm on the Chromebook, well I'm on a Pixelbook, which is a Chromebook. I'm gonna hit Control P. I've already installed the printer via PPD. I have a video of how I do that. I'll put in the corner and in the description. Same process as the setup, picking index four by six and fit to printable area. I'm gonna hit print. And we got a print. This is a beautiful Chromebook print. If it works on a Chromebook, I suspect it will work on an Android phone. All right, I have my test print pulled up in NoCo print. Ooh. No bueno. We're on a Windows computer. It's advertised to work on a Windows computer, so it better work on a Windows computer. What do you know? Beautiful label. I was able to get it working on Mac, Chromebook, and Windows. I was not able to get it working on Android. So three platforms and a cheaper price, to me, just makes sense. Customer support, I'm not 100% sure about. So it's tests like this and reasons like these why I don't really recommend the Rolo anymore. But that's our first look at the Delhi DL770D thermal printer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will be coming out with a tutorial in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.